Well, you know, as we all know, crossovers are now the meat and potatoes for the automotive industry. In fact, they're so popular, we have not one, not two, but three crossover categories. Let's begin with affordable crossover. What goes unspoken about the 2016 Jeep Renegade is the fact that it's based on the Fiat 500X. Now that's not such a bad thing as the company has done a very good job of putting some serious separation between the two models. While the base models are really designed for on-road use, the Trailhawk arrives with the equipment needed to make the Renegade a true Jeep. The Select Train Traction Management System includes a rock mode and 20 to 1 crawl ratio which gives it some mustard in the boonies. Honda's HRV is a city-friendly crossover with more than its fair share of comfort, convenience and versatility. With the seats upright, it delivers 657 litres of space and 1583 when folded down. When lowered, the floor is flat and the area is nicely squared off, so just about all of the space is functional. It's powered by a 1.8 litre 4 that's married to a CVT. In a move for the better, the CVT actually works without being a pain in the ear. As a package, well, it's one to be reckoned with. With the popularity of the compact crossover growing, the timing of the CX-3 was right on the money. It's an attractive ride that brings flexibility in an urban-friendly package. As with the rest of Mazda's lineup, it does not have to take a back seat to any of its peers. From the look to the handling, it has an impishness to its personality that's very difficult to ignore. It also arrives with a full suite of Mazda's Skyactiv technology, everything from the chassis and suspension to the powertrain and all-wheel drive. Motoring TV's best new affordable crossover is the Mazda CX-3.